the spirit remains strong. The trauma is real. Don Parsons recently returned from Poland, where he has spent much of the last year working with Ukrainian refugees. Ukrainians want to go home, but right now they can't. One year after Russia invaded Ukraine, Poland is home to one to two million Ukrainians, mostly women and children, who have fled their homeland. Every day we see coming to our refugee center uh, hundreds of people seeking aid, seeking assistance, speak, seeking someone to pray with them, someone to talk to them, seeking food, the hygiene products and so forth. Which is why Parsons and Mission Eurasia are in Poland with refugees and helping people still in Ukraine through their network of churches there. We've already delivered about 1,600 wood-burning stoves to warming centers and to homes uh, because obviously heat has been a problem, electricity has been a problem. They've provided hundreds of thousands of boxes of food, thousands of Christmas gifts to refugee children. For Parsons, it hits especially close to home. He and his family lived in Ukraine for many years, pastored a church there, and see the fear and uncertainty on the faces of those forced to leave. What do they see as their future? There's just a lot of unknowns. Yet, he says, Ukrainians continue to show great resolve. There's a lot of hurt, and yet there's a lot of hopefulness. Ukrainian people are very resilient. Uh, they are struggling, and yet they continue to press forward. They are not ready to give up. And neither, he says, is Mission Eurasia. There's a lot of people that are going to need serious counseling, serious assistance, and not just one-time conversations, but ongoing care. And that's a place where Mission Eurasia can help. We can help bring care to people, bring, bring pastoral assistance, bring uh, comfort, bring encouragement, bring hope in hopeless situations. For more information, visit missioneurasia.org. 